3 integrate each of the following with respect to x. So we see here with respect to x means this one is 2x plus 3 dx. So we see here we don't have a range. So it's definitely indefinite integral. So basically you just see if we don't have a range, don't forget to add up c. So this is mean by indefinite, you don't have the range from where to where. We will go through that later on. So after you do the integration, no, need to add up C at the end of your calculation. So like the previous one, to integrate, so you must add 1 to power. After you add up 1 to power, then you divide with power. So you add first and then you divide. So here 2x. So 2x you add up 1 to power. x is x power of 1. So add 1 it will become 1 plus 1 or 2. And then you divide with power. Power is 2 right. Okay this is the first one. And then the second one plus. So we know that 3 we will get 3x. You can see my number 1, y, 3.21, why we get 1. Okay, and then after we finish everything, so we need to end up with plus c. Alright, so this one is x square plus 3x plus c. Okay, so for b, so integration of 4x square plus 5x dx. So again, the first one, so we take out the constant which is 4. So we add up the, pow the power of x. So we see here, since it's respect to x, add up the power with 1. So x, 2 plus 1. So then we divide with the power. We know 2 plus 1 or you can just put 2 plus 1 or directly 3 plus. Okay, now the first one is done, right? The second one, you have 5, you take out the constant. So, x is actually x power of 1. So, you add up the power with 1, you get x power of 2. And then, you can directly put the power here. So, after you do everything before dx, and then you need to add up with c. Because it's indefinite. Or we can say, no range. No range from where to where. So, here, this one, you get 4 x3 divided by 3 you see 4x3 divided by 3 plus 5x square divided by 2 plus c you see here okay you can leave it this way or you can take out 4 over 3x cubed plus 5 over 2x square plus c okay so for c so integration of 1 over 2 x cubed plus 5 x minus 2 dx. So here when you integrate, so the first one you take out the constant, right? And then this one you add up the power with 1. I'm doing the first one. So 3 plus 1 you get 4. And then you see add 1 to power, divide with the power. Then now the power becomes 4. Okay, plus now the second one 5. So x you add up with 1, you get, this one is x power of 1, you add the power with 1, then you divide with the power, 1 plus 1 is 2, okay, minus, so here 2 you will get 2x, okay, then this one is plus c, okay, so 1 over 2 divided by 4, you will get 1 over 8, you can just use directly calculator, or you see here 1 over 2, Divide by 4 is actually divide by 4 over 1 or multiply 1 over 4, we get 1 over 8. Okay, so this one is x power of 4. So plus this one will become 5 over 2. x 1 plus 1 is 2 plus, sorry, minus 2x plus c. So for d, so integrate 3 over x squared plus 4x minus 2 dx. So again, to do integration, we bring the power up. So this one, divided by x squared is actually 3 power of negative 2 plus 4x minus 2 dx. 
now we can integrate so constant out and then this one x power of negative 2 we add up the power with 1 so negative 2 plus 1 so negative 2 plus 1 you will get negative 1 see divide with the power this one you bring it down okay plus this one is 4 so x is actually x power of 1 and then 1 plus 1 divided by 2 okay and then we do this one this one done and then this one minus 2 will become negative 2 x after you done everything you add up with plus c so here 3 divided by negative 1 we get negative 3 so x negative 2 plus 1 we get x negative 1 right then here 4 divided by 2 we get 2 x 1 plus 1 we get x square so minus 2x plus c and then you see here the power is negative you don't want it to be negative so we bring it down so negative 3 so x power negative 1 will become here x plus 2x square minus 2x plus c